I don't know how you guys are feeling, but I'm so sick and tired of these stories that are coming out already around the Brooklyn Nets. And I swear, it's driving me nuts as a Nets fan. So just please, something happen already. Either trades or just some type of conclusion. But get this over with already. I've had enough. Please, Joe Sy, Sean Marks, Steve Nash, I don't care who's here at this point. Come to some type of resolution. But what's going on, everybody? This is NYG Jeffy T3285. I'm going to hear talk a little bit more about the three ring circus right now going on in Brooklyn with the Nets, which is surrounding Joe Sy, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and Ben Simmons. The gift that, unfortunately, for us Net fans, just keeps on giving. And now, today, apparently, there's some news about good old Ben Simmons saying that during game four of the NBA playoffs, this past year against the Boston Celtics, Ben Simmons was apparently in a group chat, and then while the group chat was going on, he decided to hop off because apparently he just didn't like what he was seeing and because of the pressure that the, the Nets were hoping he was going to be able to come back. Ben Simmons, I'm sorry. You got to toughen up, man. You're, in, you're not, in, if you thought it was bad in Philadelphia, you're in New York now. Now, I know it's the Nets. Nobody cares about the Nets. It's a New York Knicks town, but at the same time, you gotta, you got to start having a little bit of a backbone now, okay? Ben Simmons, just get on the floor. Be a little bit tougher. You're going to have to do that if you're going to play or have any type of success in New York City. I mean, seriously. I, I don't want to hear this stuff with Ben Simmons anymore. You're jumping off a group chat because of the fact that people, because you, people are putting pressure on you because they want you on the floor and you can't handle it. Ben Simmons, if you can't even handle a group chat... How are you going to be able to handle playing in New York City for the Brooklyn Nets, who right now is currently constructed as just absolutely ridiculous as this offseason has been so far? Ben Simmons, get on the floor and go out there and at least show that you actually care and you're going to play for the New Brooklyn Nets this year. I know you're rehabbing your back injury, but come on, man. Go out there and show what you can do for this team. Now we have to, give to, another, we have to go with another gift that just keeps on giving, and that's, of course, Kyrie Irving who apparently, according to Mark W. Sanchez and Josh Kozman, they have reported that a source close to them say that Kyrie Irving hates Sean Marks and Steve Nash, a la the same thing what Kevin Durant feels, and that they pretty much wants both these guys gone. Well, then why did you have Kenny Atkinson fired when you were guys were part of the team? Kenny Atkinson was a perfect type of coach. I know he was a player's coach. I know he's a guy that's, you know, better working with younger players or guys that are trying to reach their potential. But Kenny Atkinson is a good coach. And instead, you guys wanted Kenny Atkinson fired. You guys went out there, Kyrie Irving, and you wanted to have Kenny Atkinson fired so you can go out there and you can get your guy, Steve Nash, that you played in the NBA with or you played in the same era as he did when he was part of the latter part of his career and you guys were just beginning. You guys kicked out Kenny Atkinson, and you brought in Steve Nash. And now all of a sudden you don't want him and Sean Marks there, and Sean Marks traded for you guys, and you guys asked to sign with Brooklyn, and now all of a sudden you guys don't want to be here. I'm just so sick and tired of this already. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's literally like a three-ring circus right now here in Brooklyn. I just It's, it's ridiculous. And, and to pile on more with the Ben Simmons stuff, in appearance on the Pat McAfee show Tuesday, Shams Sharania said that the story on Ben Simmons living, well actually no, Shams is saying that the story wasn't true about the Ben Simmons thing leaving the group chat. I don't believe that at all. With Ben Simmons' e like fragile ego at times, I have no reason to believe that this kid would not have done something like that. And Ben Simmons has not even played a single second for the Brooklyn Nets on the court. I don't want to hear about the soft stuff with Ben Simmons. I've had enough. And this is what I've been saying the entire time off season, where the according to the Athletics, John Hollinger, Kevin Durant has very little leverage in a potential trade out of Brooklyn. Of course, he signed a four-year deal, which I have been saying all off season. And my, I'm going to give credit to my guy MYG22. If you haven't checked him out yet, go check out Unpopular Opinion Sports. Great stuff he does over there and gives you type of things that you would have never thought about before and his type of content and it will really make you think. But Kevin Durant has no leverage. He signed a four-year extension with the Brooklyn Nets last year 
to stay on with this team and now all of a sudden he's about facing because he's sick and tired of what's going on with the team and he's just deciding, you know what, I want to get out of here and I want to go play for a winner. I'm sorry, Kevin Durant. That's not how you do it in the NBA. You don't want to play at this point? Sit out. You're 34 years old right now. You want to waste some of like a couple of the prime years you have left in the NBA by sitting out because you're upset because of what's going on with the NBA? Like, you know, I'm sorry, what's going on with the Nets? Go ahead and sit out then. I'm sick and tired of these uh, of Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving's whining all over the place. They hate this guy. They hate that guy, etc. And Joe Sy is right now an incompetent owner where this guy has no idea what he's doing. He's just pretty much a stocks and bonds guy. This is why he came in. He just pretty much is a guy that came in as a stocks, bonds, and stockbroker type owner. You know, he has no idea about basketball. And I'm afraid he's going to go out there and, you know, tell Sean Marks, whoever it is, to make whatever trade to get Kevin Durant out of here. Or he's going to be too hasty and he's going to fire Sean Marks and uh, Steve Nash. Nash should be fired because I don't trust Steve Nash. Marks, I would not fire him yet because he was pretty much the reason why the Nets became relevant and why Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving even wanted to play in Brooklyn because of the work that Sean Marks did rebuilding this franchise after the disaster that Billy King did. Now, I know I, dis I disagree with some of the moves we made. I never thought he should have made the James Harden trade. He did. And I, I think he, I know, the trade for Ben Simmons, you had to make it because Jen James Harden had to get out of here because of the fact he was just not happy. But <clears throat> I'm just so sick and tired of this whining right now. And I don't trust Joe Sy as an owner. I think he's going to make one of the worst decisions. So, I mean, the Brooklyn Nets right now look literally like a three-ring circus. I mean, you want to talk about Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey? Go over to Brooklyn, head over to the Barclays Center, and head over to the Brooklyn Borough, and you'll be looking at the circus right now with the Brooklyn Nets, because that's all it's been this offseason with Kevin Durant's, I mean, even during the season, Kyrie Irving's a mandate. While I don't agree with Eric, uh, Mayor Eric Adams and what he did, Kyrie Irving just made a whole mess of it. Kevin Durant being hurt during the season, the James Harden fiasco, Joe Harris being hurt all season. I mean, the, the James Harden trade during the middle of the season, you bring in Ben Simmons, he comes in, doesn't play. He has a back injury all of a sudden. Says he's going to come back within like the third or fourth game of the series against the Celtics. Never shows up. Now you're hearing about maybe him exiting a group chat because he couldn't handle the heat. Kevin Durant now asking for a trade. Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant hating, you know, going up, hating the GM and the uh, head coach. Kevin Durant saying, trade me right now. It's between me or the head coach and the GM. You picked owner Joe side. The owner have no idea what he's doing. The Brooklyn Nets have been the epitome of a three-ring circus this offseason. I am so sick and tired of it. I'm sorry. I don't do rant videos. I don't love doing rant videos. But I'm just so sick and tired of this franchise right now. It is looking like an absolute circus right now in Brooklyn. Everything that is anything that you thought could not happen is happening with Brooklyn. And I swear, this is just unbelievable. And at this point, I don't even care. I mean, the way that this organization is being run right now, trade Kevin Durant, trade Kyrie Irving, get rid of Ben Simmons, fire the head coach, maybe fire the GM, I don't even know, get the owner out of here. I would, even, I would love at this point to see a clean slate and just start all over again with this Brooklyn Nets franchise because right now I can't take it. I cannot take it. Just... Cut the stuff out right now. Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, you have no leverage. You can whine and complain all you want. You have no leverage. You're staying here unless the owner and the GM just want to get you out of here because the owner decides he wants to keep the GM and the head coach for at least another year. Or, Josiah, you have, it's on you. You want, to get rid of Kev, you want to get rid of Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, trade them. If you think Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving are worth more than the head coach, Steve Nash, as well as the GM, Sean Marks, Get rid of them. But then I'll just tell you this to you. Who's to say that if you don't fire your GM and your head coach, that the next GM and head coach that come in, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving start, don't start complaining about that, and then they ask for get a trade. They ask for a trade again. There's too much drama going on right now with the Brooklyn Nets. It's annoying. It's horrible. It's just a bad. It's a black cloud that's hovering over this franchise right now. They have the talent. The scary part is this team is still talented enough to win the championship, but it's just too many egos going on, too much complaining and whining. And at this point, the Brooklyn Nets are really just a three-ring circus right now. They're a joke right now with the way they're portraying themselves in the public eye. 
The NBA is laughing right now at the Nets, everybody in that Nets organization, and unless things change, this is just going to be an absolute disaster going forward for the Brooklyn Nets, no matter how you spin it. The Nets right now just look like an absolute joke right now, and hopefully cooler heads will eventually prevail, and this organization can get their heads on straight, and maybe we can see if everybody just comes together, we could try to find a way to maybe put together a team that could make the playoffs and maybe compete for a championship. But this is just my video I want to make. I apologize if I ran it off a little bit. I'm just so sick and tired of this Brooklyn Nets team right now and the rumors and the drama and everything. So if you like this video, please hit the like button below. Subscribe if you haven't already to NYG Jeff VT3285 for more breaking news updates and chatter surrounding the Brooklyn Nets, New York Giants, New York Mets, WWE Wrestling, as well as Food for Thought. Turn on the bell for notifications on the next video or short that drops around in the Brooklyn Nets. Leave your comments below, and I really would love to hear your guys' comments about the drama surrounding this franchise ever since the season began last December. Just let me know. If you're a Net fan, go in the comment section and vet out all you have the frustrations with this team. And just talk about this Brooklyn Nets team, what you think might happen during the season. So I thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday evening. Take it easy, and let's go Brooklyn Nets. Nets world, everyone.